Hega two four B. Ki ani it chem ne um adonai tseva ot. Now I've brought in here the main command from the first part of the verse. So let's, with translation, let's pick up at the end of two four A from the previous video. And be strong, all you people of the land, declares the Lord, and work. For I, and we have to supply the verb am, for I am with you, declares the Lord of hosts. Now, let me make a quick comment about the placement of the Athnach here. The ESV and the CSB put the command work in the next clause, be strong, period, Work, comma, for I am with you is how they do it. And I think the Athnach is giving us an idea of the emphasis in the verse. Now, this is indeed an interpretive judgment, but working on the temple is what Israel is not doing. So I think to emphasize work here is the idea. So we get the encouragement here to be strong in 2-4-A and the command to work with the heaviest disjunctive accent situated with that command to do work. Now, it's not a huge deal here, but I wanted to mention that. In the B part of the verse, we get the ground clause of why all the people should be strong and work. For I am with you. Being a verbless clause, we have to supply a form of to be. And since God's presence is always with his people, am, the present tense, works great here. Notice that et with a suffix and a hyric is the with preposition, not the object marker. We've seen a couple of these in the last several videos. Remember, with has an I vowel, if that can help you the way it's spelled there. Finally here, we have the divine speech formula, uh, declares the Lord. This formula is in verse uh, 3, three different times. The BHS apparatus questions two of them, but we should also see that the Lord is trying to say something authoritative to the post-exilic community.